Hello, my name is Alan Richardson from seleniumsimplified.com and I'm going to show you the steps I go through when I upgrade version of Selenium. Here I'm going to upgrade the source code from my course from version 2.40.0 to version 2.42.2. .2. So you can see on the Selenium site that the current version of Selenium is 2.42.2. .2. And you can see that in my POM file, I'm using 2.40.0. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade the version in the POM file to the one that I want to move to. Then I'm going to get the command line up. And I'm going to do that working with the IntelliJ Show in Explorer. Then the Explorer window, I'm just going to do a command line. Make sure I'm in the right directory. There's the POM file. So I'm just going to do a maven clean. And I'm not going to do a compile. I'm going to do a test compile. Because maven clean compile won't. Uh, there's nothing changed in my actual code. So maven clean compile won't do anything. Maven clean test compile will force the uh, test to get recompiled. And the issues will get picked up. So there we go. I can see in here that I have got issues in HTML unit driver test because it can't find Firefox underscore three underscore six. And I've got issues in the web driver backed Selenium test because it can't find web driver backed Selenium. Fortunately, I have both of these files open in IntelliJ here at the moment. So I can see the errors. I can see that both of these are missing. Now I've got two different ways that I am going to fix this. But what's interesting about this process is not these particular issues and not necessarily the fixing of these issues, but how we go through investigating what has happened. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check the change log for Selenium. Now I know where that is, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to find that. So I go off to seleniumhq.org, click on downloads, look at the source code. I'm going to go off to browse git. Then I'm going to look at the changes. Now here I've got all the versions that have come in. I can see that this is the 2.4.2 release and it talks about the change log entry. So if I go in there and I look at Java change log, this shows me all the changes that they've tracked in their change log. If I get rid of all this stuff after the, the URL, this is the most up to date version of the change log. So I can now see the changes that have come in. So I can see that there's been quite a lot of changes since the version that I was using, which is 2.40.0. So I'm going to have a quick look and see if it mentions WebDriver backed. So here it is. In version 2.40.0, it says they migrated WebDriver backed Selenium to a different package. That's interesting. So I didn't notice that when I was using 2.4.0. So I can quickly check that. If I just jump back. 2.40.0 and look in here, I can see now that the web driver backed is deprecated. That doesn't show up in the, the compiles I did, but I can see here in the IDE that was there. So had I noticed that, I would have been prepared for this. Now I wasn't prepared for it. Let me jump back to 2.42.2 to get that error back. Now the easiest thing for me to do, the easiest way for me to fix this is just to delete the import statement, then let IntelliJ find it. So if I do Alt Enter, it's brought in the correct import. Now what's interesting, if I jump, to, if I do that again, but I do that on 2.40.0, this is the old version on 2.40.0. If I do import class here, I've got a choice. I've got the old one and I've got the new one. Had I picked the old one at this point, I would have seen that it's deprecated. I would have gone to the new one. When I'm on 2.42.2, the changes take effect. Then I'll enter. There's only one option that's picked up. That's find it. So that was just a moving of the code in the package structure in WebDriver. Sometimes that happens. The easiest thing to do is to just move it in IntelliJ. Now, the other issue I've got is uh, the Firefox 
2.436. Now we're currently on 2.42.2. And if I jump through into browser version, because I've got the uh, auto scroll from source in here, when I'm in a particular code in the source pane here it will show me where it is in the project and I can see that this is in 2.14 of HTML unit. If I jump back to 2.40 of WebDriver again you can see that that's deprecated. If I jump through into browser version I can see that HTML unit here is actually on version 2.13. So this isn't a WebDriver issue, this is just because WebDriver has changed the version of HTML unit that it's using. So if I go off to the HTML unit site, and look at the change history. So I can see that uh, WebDriver is not using the most up-to-date version of HTML unit, that's fine. I know that it's using version 2.14. So if I have a quick scroll through here, I can see that there's been some changes to the Firefox versions and it's recommending that I use Firefox 24. So if in my test, let's jump back to 4.2.2. Normally, um, I wouldn't be changing versions this often, but just in order to demonstrate things to you, I'm switching back and forward between 2.40.0 and 2.42.2. So in 2.42.2, we can see that that 3 underscore 6 doesn't exist. If I replace it with Firefox 24, everything is fine. So with those issues fixed, if I go back to my code base and I do Maven clean test compile, remember this just compiles everything. It doesn't run the tests. But at this point, I'm just trying to get rid of these compilers and see that everything works. Great, that works. So then I'm free to just run my tests and let uh, WebDriver carry on and do its work. There's nothing really important here. It was just to show you the investigation process that I go through. And we just have to understand that change happens and we just have to learn how to deal with it. So I hope that helps. Hope there's something useful in there for you. This is Alan Richardson at seleniumsimplified.com.